Celestino Caraballo, he backed out of a fight against you a couple months ago. Orlando Salido is not too thrilled to square up with you. Do you feel that these fighters are avoiding you somehow? Well, uh, I mean, that's that's up to you know whoever wants to see it one way or another. I I I don't think they are avoiding me, but they maybe the managers or promoters are trying to get them through a fight. Sometimes it doesn't seem to be the the right choice to be facing someone like myself. Maybe due to politics or, or business and boxing that there is. Um, it's not like the amateurs where everybody has to face each other, you know, in the bracket and you may need to fight them or get out. This is different as professional boxing and other things, you know, are in play. You gotta consider different factors. But um, as a fighter, I don't think there's fighters that are afraid to fight. They just maybe not be the, the right moment. The, the money may not be right or, you know, the, the manager thinks it's not right or the promoter. Um, uh, Caballero chose not to fight. He kept changing ideas with his promoter and coming up with excuses uh, to, you know, postpone and delay the, the fight from happening. And eventually, I, you know, I got tired of that. You know, I got tired of waiting. So I decided to move on to the next, you know, fighter that would possibly give me an opportunity. And that was Salido. And, you know, we're trying to work on that fight. Caballero didn't, didn't uh, even defend his title after he refused to fight me. He gave his title up and he vacated the, the title. Um, so either he didn't want to fight me or he didn't want to defend his title with anybody else. He wanted to do something that uh, obviously they weren't going to let him. So he had to vacate the title. It's just sometimes it just doesn't make sense for him to defend, I guess. Um, it doesn't make sense for him to make money. I don't know how that works. but Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how that works either. <laughs> Um, <laughs> in your uh, opinion, who are the best fighters in your weight class, the featherweight division? In my division right now, um, there, it's, it's loaded with many fighters, uh, a lot of talent in the division. Some of the fights won't be made because, like, like I said, of uh, promotional you know, disputes and the managers uh, not wanting to make the fights. Um, but uh, there is a lot, of, a lot of talent and a lot of good fights that could be made. Um, if you ask me who I think the best fighter in the division is, I'm going to tell you I feel I'm the best fighter in the division. I need my opportunity. I need to show everybody that I am the best, and I need those opportunities. You know, I need to fight the champions to prove myself. I could believe it, but if I don't prove myself by fighting you know, the champion, people don't believe me and people won't recognize me. But I think I am the best. Um, I just got to have that opportunity to show them. Yo, DJ, how you doing? Your DJ has only just begun.